But on a lighter note, the, the thing that the fanboy in me is really excited about in the Huffington Post report is we would have gotten the White Walker language, and we did for the first time. It's it, David J. Peterson, the linguist they hired for it, has explained this in numerous interviews, that in the books it says the White Walkers have a language that sounds like cracking ice. And not in the books, I think. The name he came up with it uh, for it in the TV show is Scroth, is the White Walker language. And we have no word sampling. Some of they just say they're making noises that sound like language, that sound like cracking ice. They're these ice demons. And in the final version of the TV show, they literally make ice cracking sounds, like w- using special effects recordings. Like, you couldn't speak this. It's a special effect of the noise of ice cracking. But in the pilot, the idea they had was make a real fictional language that the stuntmen will be speaking that you could kind of say it sounds like cracking noises, you know, with a lot of consonants. And Peterson himself has said this very explicitly. The pilot version of Scroth is not canon. It has been superseded that we've established in the main show that they sound like cracking ice. So it's just interesting as this is early work Peterson did, and he made it a point to never release it in public because he said, I might reuse this for like some alien race in an unrelated TV show. And I understand that, that a lot of work went into this, but it's not canon anymore. It's just an early idea we were tossing around. They also hadn't really finalized the look of the White Walkers. That This screenshot is misleading, that I think they just had a placeholder design for them in Season 1, when they they appear mostly in shadow. Like, this full image is visible for maybe a fraction of a second as he's rushing one of the Night's Watchmen. So they later revamped this totally into the more mummified look by Season 2, and when fans have to go, oh, this is what White Walkers look like. It's This is placeholder stuff, but they had a more brutal facial thing, skeletal. It was just a little different. But, you know, the, this is stuff that was in shadow. We wouldn't really see that. But anyway, Peterson, for the first time ever in this Huffington Post report, you know, Bradley went to this, looked up the pilot, and he emailed Peterson about it, and Peterson just the few weeks ago, emailed him back and ex- gave some new information about, oh yeah, this is what Scroth was like. And for the first time, Peterson sent the Huffington Post this five-second clip of it. This is our first public look at what the White Walker language version 1.0 looked like. Uh, again, please go right to the info box description below in the YouTube description there. It isn't worth the copyright issues of splicing it in here. Just go to the link, listen to it. It's all five seconds long. As for what it sounded like, well, like you're trying your best with the human voice to make something that people would describe as sounding like ice cracking, even though it's human sounds, you know, a lot of hard consonants and stuff. Uh, it's it's very th- guttural and throaty. It, it sounds sort of like the way Gollum sounds in the Middle Earth movies. You know, my precious, my precious, it, it's throaty. Um, I am not even going to attempt to transliterate it because it has sounds in it that don't exist in English from him saying it in this audio clip. Um, I, I can try it. My best approximation is I wrote it down. It's something like that. But again, I would have spliced this in here except for copyright. Go and check out the five second clip of it. It's like that. And again, it's not canon. It got superseded by something else. It's just, I, we've been told about this for seven years and been tantalized with, oh, there's this abandoned version of their language that is not canon. We're not using it. And it's just, I never heard any of it. And just hearing one word of it now, it's cool. It just is this fun, deleted scene, abandoned idea. Uh, that even if the White Walkers show up in other prequels, like the Long Night prequel, they'll be using the special effects sounds of actual ice-cracking noises like thing they made up for the rest of the TV show, which I think is actually cooler. But uh, speaking of which, because this interviewer contacted Peterson again to talk about this, and Peterson sent a clip and also a little new info. Turns out that for season six, 
Peterson actually developed uh, the Children of the Forest language, which in the books is called the True Tongue. Well, they said in our language, our name for our language is the True Tongue. That there are no samples of it, even people names. That they go, it's difficult to pronounce, so Bran just uses nicknames. The lead child is called Leaf. Another one he nicknames Snowy Locks. So we don't even have proper names from it. There is not a shred of stuff from it at all. Just, you know, logically, the children of the forest had their own language before the first men came. And it, it's called the True Tongue. And Peterson said he worked it out for season six. They were going to do it like Valyrian and Dothraki, where it's subtitled. But for a couple of reasons, they decided not to use it. That the stuntmen were having difficulty with it. That a big thing was... Um, they thought subtitles would be distracting during fight scenes, which I can see how it takes you out of the element, but still, how much are people talking during fight scenes? Why not just use it in the talky scenes from the beginning of, of before the attack happens? I, they didn't need... I, I wish they had put that in there, because he put the work in, and it would be interesting to hear it. That, just acknowledging, look, they don't talk like humans do. So, if we get Children of the Forest in something else... He already has a Children of the Forest language waiting to go, in case the need ever arises. So, for wiki purposes on Game of Thrones wiki, this is I use this as justification to make an article on the true tongue. Just saying in, in the notes section, by the way, Peterson actually developed a full language for this. So, we'll see what comes of that.